hair care company. So I haven't done a cook with me in a couple days or maybe a week or so. So I've decided to do a cook with me today. I am gonna make some lamb chops with mashed potatoes and also some pan seared chicken breasts with yellow rice. So I've already washed my meats. We're gonna go ahead and get them seasoned and ready to go. So you guys get ready. And of course, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And then also don't forget to thumbs up this live as you come in. All right, so I'm gonna put some gloves on. Only because the lamb chops, when you season them up, I'm using green seasoning and I don't wanna use my hand for that. Okay, so I have some small lamb chops. Okay, they're not really big. This was all I could get um, at the grocery store. So they're really little. Um, they have some fat on them, which I'm gonna keep. It's really not much, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and dry them and season them, okay? So they're already washed and clean. So all I'm gonna do is just take a napkin and just kind of towel dry them. They're really small, so of course we're gonna have more than one per person. But if you can get some really good quality lamb chops in your area, by all means, get them. Now, I'm not gonna shave off this top piece here. Honestly, it's, they're too small for me to even say that I wanna shave that much off, so I'm not gonna do that. But normally, lamb chops can come a lot bigger than this, or you can buy the whole rack of lamb and cut it yourself, but in the local grocery store, I wasn't able to get that. Okay. And then my last piece here. All right. I just wanted to towel dry them. I'm actually going to season them in this bowl rather than on the plate. I just needed a place to dry them first. I washed them with salt and lemon. Okay. So I used salt and lemon when I was washing them. All right, so for our seasonings, we are going to actually be using our dry moon spice, which a lot of you have now. We're gonna use our Caribbean green seasoning that we made from scratch. This was the one that I had in the freezer. So I defrosted it in the fridge, just regular defrost, and it came right back to its normal consistency, and then I just took a spoon and just mixed it up because it did have a little bit of oil and vinegar in there. And you see it's still nice and green even after freezing it. We also have some red pepper flakes, some black pepper, a little bit of honey, some garlic powder. And then I also have some minced garlic, okay? So we are gonna pan sear this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just using the last of the garlic that I had. It's not a lot that I had in there. Okay, so I just put the last of the garlic that I did have. Just trying to scrape it out. I'm gonna take our green seasoning, a nice size spoon, because this is a herb-based recipe. Then we're gonna take our black pepper. Okay, our garlic powder. Honey, just a little bit, you don't need a lot, okay? Honey. And then we're gonna use our dry moon spice. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little spoon here. I'm gonna try my hardest to not get any of the peppercorn, but if I get some in there, that's fine too. I'm just gonna use two teaspoons of moon spice. That's more than an, well, let's do a teaspoon and a half of moon spice. This is the dry rub, which is available on our website, EliteTotalBodyCare.com. And then we'll also be using the wet one in our next recipe in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and rub up our chops. 
in all of our seasonings. And then we're going to allow this to sit and marinate for about 5-10 minutes. Now, of course, if you do this earlier and allow it to marinate overnight, it's going to be even better. But in our case, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to leave it as is. Okay? And treat your lamb chops nice and delicate. They are delicate. But you do want to make sure that you season every bit of your lamb chops. Okay? See that? Nice and seasoned. All right, so we're going to set that to the side. Now, because I'm making chicken, and some of us in here don't eat red meat, I'm going to make sure to take those gloves off before I season up my chicken. Okay, for our chicken, same thing. We've already washed it. I have two chicken breasts here. So again, we're gonna use our dry moon spice because we're gonna be pan searing it. So I'm gonna use one teaspoon for one breast and one teaspoon for the other breast. That's more than enough, okay? More than enough in regards to the moon spice. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of green seasoning and just split that between the two. And then we'll add our garlic powder. Our black pepper. Okay. And then is a little, a little spruce up. During Thanksgiving time, they sell these in the stores. They actually sell them. Zatarans makes these. This is called Cajun in Be Cajun or Creole butter. We are actually going to inject our chicken breasts with some Creole butter before we actually fry it. And we're going to use that to keep our chicken breast nice and moist on the inside. So if you don't have a meat injector already, you can buy this in your grocery store for about $6-$7. This will last for quite some time. You can use it in a lot of your other recipes. It's not just for turkey, you guys. You can use this on chicken. Like, there's so many recipes you can use this on. And no, there's no, I'm not getting an endorsement or anything of that nature. For me using this, I just decided to use it in today's recipe so that you guys could see for yourself that it's possible and that you don't have to always wait until Thanksgiving to get an injectable. You can inject your meat throughout the year. You can even make an injectable with butter and moon spice if you choose to. You can do that together. All right, so let me go ahead and rub up my meat real quick. Get my seasonings all in there. Okay, more than enough seasoning to go around with the two chicken breasts. Hence the reason I didn't want to overdo it. And that green seasoning is gonna give it mm -mm -mm, more flavor on top of the moon spice. So if you don't know how to make green seasoning, I do have a video on my other channel, Crystal Williams Online, where you can get the green seasoning recipe to make it yourself. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my injector ready. All right, let's wash this real quick. So this actually comes with the um the butter, the Creole butter. So if you don't have a meat injector, it'll always come with one, which is great. Okay. And now you have to shake this up really well. Open it up. Okay. 
and then you're gonna inject in the larger parts of your meat. Try not to push too hard because you don't want it to all float out. Remember, chicken breast can be quite, quite dry. Bless me. Now, because I did put my injector back in there, I'm gonna have to store this in the freezer, you guys. So if you plan on using it because you did put your injector in there and it touched the meat, um, I would highly suggest storing this in your freezer so that it doesn't go bad. And then of course you can use it again. But the best way to use it, of course, is to pour into the top rather than do what I just did. But you know, I'm at home, so I'm fine. But we'll put that in the freezer and store that away and it will last quite some time. You can even portion it out into ice cubes if you want, just so you don't have to defrost the whole thing all the time. Okay, so we're just going to let that sit. And then we're going to go ahead and close up our seasoning. So our green seasoning will go back in the refrigerator. Okay, I'm just cleaning up my area here. So we're going to be using a cast iron skillet for our lamb chops. And then for our um, for our chicken breast, we're using a regular skillet. There we go. All right. All right. So let me turn on this light here. I already have my cast iron skillet on the stove. My rice is already going and my potatoes are already going. So we're gonna do two things at once. If you can't do two things at once, don't worry. chops over because they'll be on one side my chicken breast will be on the other side get my tongs for my chicken breast and then I have my tongs for my lamb chops so let's go on over here remember you guys I record live so you guys will see the camera moving around and all that stuff I'm a I'm a live recorder kind of person keep that in mind all right so I have my cast iron skillet here. I'm gonna turn it to a medium high because I don't want it to be super hot when I'm making my lamb chops, okay? And then on my other skillet, I'm gonna turn that one also to a medium high, which I'm using a smaller burner, so this one will take a lot longer. And that's fine too. working on some garlic here okay pan over here so this is called elephant garlic for those of you that have never seen it elephant garlic is really deep okay this is elephant garlic watch me look how big it is it's called elephant garlic Sometimes they're even bigger than this. Okay, so we're gonna put some elephant garlic in bowl. And the reason why we're putting the elephant garlic in a bowl is because we are actually going to use this 
for our sauce. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, if you have a food processor, great. If not, then you gotta do it by hand. It's gonna give your garlic a nice rough chop. Okay, you wanna give your garlic a nice rough chop. Cause we're gonna make some butter for our lamb chops. So while our pan is heating up, Okay, so we have our garlic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some green seasoning, very important. The green seasoning is going to be a part of the herb section of this. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of green seasoning in there. Actually, that was about a, a tablespoon and a half. I'll say a tablespoon and a half. We're also gonna take some red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of heat. Okay, and now I'm gonna use a stick of Kerrygold butter. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut my butter up and put it in, in my little mixture here. Now I'm not going to warm it or anything right now because it's not really required. I'm just allowing it to go room temperature while I make my lamb chops. What I'm also gonna do from this stick of butter is I'm gonna save about two tablespoons of butter to use in my pan if necessary for my actual lamb chops if needed, okay? So I just cut this into four just in case I need it for my lamb chops, okay? So this is going to just kind of sit around I'm, I'm mixing it up still because I want that garlic to start getting infused in there. As it starts to bring it up to room temperature, everything starts infusing from now. But I'm not gonna warm it up. I'm just gonna put this in my pan one time. All right, people. So for my pan that I'm putting my chicken breast in, I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil. I'm gonna also add just a little bit here. are going here so we're gonna be frying up two different things at once I'm gonna go ahead and put in my chicken breasts for the chicken breast I'm gonna cover my pan with the top okay let's trap that heat in for my pan here that has for my lamb chop I'm going to go ahead and start dropping them in. And we're going to start searing them.
trying to see if I can get them all in there. Hopefully I can. Yeah, yeah, I did it. So we have our pan on medium high, you guys. Medium high. Okay, so we're gonna let that go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my potatoes off the stove. I'm not going to mash them and I'm not gonna take them out of the water yet because I want them to stay hot. So I have my potatoes here. I'm just gonna put them to the side. So while our lamb is going, my chicken breast is also going. I turned the fire up a little bit on my chicken breast. My lamb chops, those are doing good. The only thing we're doing is browning them on each side. These smell so good. OMG. OMG, they smell good. All right, let's see what you guys have going on here. Okay, yeah. Hello. Six quarts now for family on top of everything else. I don't know what kind of energy. God bless you. But listen, I don't even have any energy right now. I'm so tired. Actually, no, it's not overcrowded at all. No, Donna. Give me a second, you guys. I need to get some of stuff here. Out our, our meat here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over. to smell it, you'd be like, whoa. All right, our chicken breast. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. Cover that up. So while our lamb and stuff is going, our chicken breast is going, I am going to take an onion. While that's cooking, you guys, I am going to prepare for my chicken breast. Okay, this is a really small sweet onion, but we're just going to cut it down just like that, nice and big. It's 
so few. I can't really give it some like cheese pop, but it'll be fine. Okay, so this is gonna be for our chicken breast. So we eat well done meat here, just so everybody's aware. We don't eat um, medium well and all that, no. We eat well done. <laughs> so, best believe my lab crops are going to be well cooked. Okay, I like mine dead, I don't want it to move, I don't want it to mash, but. Most people y'all want it nice and pink and mm -mm, mm -mm. We don't do that here. We do that here to cook. Very good. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Ooh, that was real funny. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, that was funny. All right, so for my chicken breast, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some bell pepper. These were the bell peppers that were in the freezer. So I'm just going to cut up some pepper bell peppers. Take these 
Yeah. Use the one that's on the table. Okay. I'm taking my lamb chops out. I also turned the heat down over there in the middle. Okay. I've turned the heat down on my pan here. Okay, so there's my lamb chops. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my butter, and my garlic, and I'm gonna put that in there. I got my butter and my garlic in there. So I'm gonna put over to and spoon. I have some cherry cooking wine. If I can get it open. There we go. So I'm going to add some cooking wine to this. Making sure that I get all my little bits off. Okay, melt my butter. I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce. And then to this, I'm gonna add a small amount of moon spice paste. Okay, this is the moon spice paste that you guys just saw me add. That's gonna be my seasoning. So I'm gonna let this reduce a little bit more. Add a little bit more sherry to it. At this part of the process, you can add a little more moon, um, moon spice, a little more green seasoning if you choose, which I'm not. I'm just gonna add my lamb chops back in there. Now this is on low, okay? So I have this on low. Simmer for a little bit while we handle our chicken here. So our chicken should be ready, so I'm going to take that out and allow it to rest. Okay, so while that's going, we're going to work with our chicken over here. I'm going to go ahead and toss in my onions and bell peppers. And I'm going to deglaze my little bowl here that had my seasoning in it from my chicken. Okay. Alright, so we're going to let that do its thing for a second. Bring that up to a boil or a simmer, whatever you want to call it. This is our lamb chops, you guys. Ooh, look at those. Let's make sure we baste them all on top. If you guys could smell this food, you would be like, OMG. And I have it on low on purpose. I don't have a cover on it on purpose. Just making sure that I base everybody. Mm -mm. Look 
those, you guys. Look at those. I want my sauce to get nice and thicky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm just going to clean up my area here. Get myself prepared. Alright, I turned my cast iron down to a very low. Very, very low. I'm just going to move this to the back because I don't really need that heat on it anymore. Put it in this thing, bring my chicken over. So these are our fixings for our chicken. I'm going to also going to add my dad's favorite add some ketchup. All right, so we have our chicken breast here. I'm just going to go ahead and add those back in. Okay, so good. And then I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes, put some spice. And I just turned my stove off. And I'm just putting my aromatics on top of my chicken. Okay, because that chicken is done. Chicken is done. That's done too. So what are you guys thinking so far? If you think food is going to be fire, give me some fire emojis. It's hot in here. Give me some fire emojis. Crystal, I'm coming over. <laughs> Thank you, Pop. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our mashed potatoes, okay? So I'm gonna move this here. Um, I'm just gonna drain my potatoes that I boiled. I didn't take them out of the water on purpose because I wanted them to remain hot. Okay, so we have our potatoes here. How I make mine is I like to cut them up and boil them. They cook really quickly. Okay, I have some Kerrygold butter. If you have margarine, that works fine too. But we're gonna use the Kerrygold today. So 
So I'm going to put my Kerrygold on there now so that it can begin to melt with my potatoes. Okay, so I used about half a stick of butter. That's about half. Let me move these so my butter can get in there and start to get nice and warm and melty. Now, I like to season my mashed potatoes, not with craziness, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper and then a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. You don't wanna season it too much. Keep in mind that your meat has a ton of seasoning in it. All right, and then I have some sour cream. Well, I gotta figure out where they put the potatoes. Alright, so we're gonna take our sour cream, which I don't have a ton, but I'm gonna use it. If I have to add milk, I'll add some milk. gonna smash these babies together All right, I like to use this spatula so I just wiped it Adriana can you come here and give me the milk? Yeah, or if there's cream on the door, I'll take the cream. Actually, do I need any? Yeah. Just give me the milk. I only need a little bit. Just a little bit. I need a little bit. That's it. You guys ready to eat? Mm -hmm. okay. Can you give me the plates? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plate. So let's go with our chicken breasts. All right, so we got our yellow rice here that I did in the rice cooker. I'm not going to do the decorative um, plating for the yellow rice, not today.
Okay, so we have our rice. Now for the chicken breast, here's what we're gonna do. Because the chicken breast is nice and big. Okay. We are going to slice our chicken breast. If you guys can't tell, this is my favorite cutting board of all the cutting boards that I have, right? <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> I have a big one. I have another big one. But I love this little cutting board for some reason or another. All right, so we're going to put our chicken breast here. I'll use that one to taste. Let's taste. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Whoa, that nice. Wow. That was absolutely good. <laughs> I probably should have had some chicken breast too. I think I'm cutting this against the grain, but it's fine. This is home. <coughs> Ooh. That chicken breast is so good. So tender. Now, this would also go well with some black bean. Ooh, y'all see that sauce? This would go well with some black beans. You can make it a little Spanish meal. You can add just onions. Mm -hmm. This would go really well. Okay, and then we're going to have our little sauce. Add some sauce to our rice, of course. And then our aromatics will go on our chicken. Sauce is super important for us here. We like, we like sauce. We like sauce. So there is our chicken breast with yellow rice. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This one. All right, good. I'll clean my little station here. Let's do our lamb chops. Lamb chops. So I'm gonna put some mashed potatoes. Now, if I was doing some fancy plating and all that, I'd put it right in the middle and do all of that good stuff. But I'm not doing any fancy plating, you guys. Okay, we're not doing that today. This is our mashed potatoes that we made, which I love. Mashed potatoes, like love. Okay, so we got our mashed potatoes. Let's get our lamb chop. plate one plate which is this one you guys can't see it there we are so we got our lamb chops here mm -hmm. this plate is my plate so oh i'm so excited to eat this food let's see here christian i know my son he doesn't really eat like that and then the girls. I said I wasn't gonna do anything fancy, right? And I still ended up laying them out a certain kind of way. All right, so let's just mix up our sauce here. You don't want a coating of oil on top. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. Ooh. Lamb chops. Now, of course, this would be even better if you had like some type of green garnish to put on there. That's going to bring out the colors. But honestly, right now, it doesn't even matter. So there is our lamb chops and mashed potatoes. Mm-mm-mm. Now, of course, we should have a veggie, like green beans. Green beans will probably be best, or asparagus. I didn't make any veggies today, which is fine. But I am about to go and eat and enjoy my food with this Grace hot sauce. If you guys see Grace, tell her so we are going to use our family recipe, our sauce. And I'm about to mess it up. I'm about to mess it up. Okay, Grace. Grace is there. Yes. I am going to really go and F up this food. Your girl is hungry. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's cook with me. It didn't even take me an hour today, you guys, to do two different meals. Um, but I didn't do the sides on live. I started the sides before I got on live. Really, Grace? <laughs> I started um, the sides before I got on live. But that saved me about 20 minutes of live anyway. So really, this meal is nice and quick. Um, it's tasty. It's easy to make. Lamb chops you can make in like 10 minutes. It looks a little oily. Well, I mean, if you call that oil, yeah, we use oil, so yeah, but it's mashed potatoes, so they're going to soak it on up, honey. Um, but you can use less oil should you choose to. So, you know, to each its own, you use less oil. That's all. You're welcome. Um, and then, of course, you can also improvise. You don't have to use oil at all. You can use butter. Butter works, too. I use butter and oil, so, of course, there's a lot. Um, and usually I will say with lamb, because it has so much fat, it adds more oil. So what you can also do to cut down the oil is not add oil to your pan and just use the fat from the lamb because it makes its own oil as well. So that's an alternative. Outside of that, you guys, I'm about to go yam up this oil, buttered lamb. Listen, when I'm done, I will put a picture of my plate. All right, everybody go and enjoy your weekend or the rest of your weekend. Enjoy a holiday tomorrow. Tomorrow is a holiday, hopefully for everybody. If not, um, we are open, but tomorrow is a federal holiday. So if you guys are off, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll see you guys on the next live. Peace.